A few years ago, I set up a video that showed people how to set up their PS3s with a video device that would only accept component, so a monitor, for example. Um, the reason for this being, when you reset a PS3's video se uh, settings, it resets to composite, and so if you want to set it up on something that's component only, it can be a bit of a nightmare, you have to fill around with the settings, and instead of doing it blind, I wanted to give a video guide so you knew all the key presses. Thought I'd update it, bring it a little bit, uh, into the next century, I guess, so this is the new attempt. So from here, when you load it up, you'll be on the game screen, you want to go left, five clicks. Now it's best to use the D-pad for this, you can use the sticks, but just for the sake of accuracy, D-pad's best. So there's your five. If you've got a DVD in there, or if you load up to something other than the game screen, that will be different, so just make sure you take that into account. From here, you want to go down at ten. That'll lead you to display settings. You just press X to go into that. Once you're in there, you've got the video output settings. You just press X again, and then your cursor will be over the composite. You want to move that up to component with the D-pad. Once you're there, you press right, and that'll make sure you're in the component settings area. You'll get a quick warning. Do you want to change this? Just press X to proceed. And then after that, you'll have one of the timer screens counting down. Can you see this? You won't be able to, but just press left on the D-pad and say yes with X. You'll then get a list of resolutions. It'll be 576p, 720p, 1080i and 1080p. Now, you'll want to check with your TV which one of these these supports. If you're not sure, go with 576p, but you can always restart this video and go through the steps again uh, and go by trial and error from what, you'll, uh, from what it can support. Your cursor will be across standard PAL, which will be the top of the list but you want to move down onto 576p, select it if it can do it with X, then move down onto 720p if you want to use it, press X. The same with 1080i, move down, press X, and 1080p, move down and press X. Now I've selected them all because I'm using my capture device which can go up to 1080p over a component. If yours can, great. If not, make sure you're selecting what you need. Then just press right and you get one of these screens. Now this is the first thing you'll probably see on your device if you've done it right. If you have, Great, then to be honest you can probably click off this video now. If you haven't, you can press no and it'll go back and the highlight will be over the last thing you chose and all of the selections will be the same as they were. If you get confused, you can always restart. Right here, press the X button to save your settings and then you're good to go. You can also change your audio settings, but to be honest you don't really need to. Um, it's up to you. You don't need a video for that because you're already all set up. So then you can go back. Check out your main game screen and we can see all of Joel's lovely face instead of it being cut off like it was before. Hope that's helpful. It definitely helped me. I was using my own video to set up my PS3 when I was moving from monitor to monitor. But uh, even if it's not been helpful for you, it has been helpful for me. Thanks guys. Take care.